with the city. Uh, we're going to set off two live fires here. One of them is going to be in a regular room with regular furniture, nothing special, and one with a home fire sprinkler in it. The way the wind's blowing today, once we light the first fire, Jeremy's going to talk to you about everything else that it has to do as it comes along and as we go along and how long it takes us to get to a fire, but we might have to shift a little bit as the wind smoke comes around, so just so you know, but we're going to uh, set both these off. Jeremy's going to talk to you about how it all runs and goes and how long it takes for us to get there and what it's really like. We have added nothing to this. This is real furniture and newspaper is all. All right. As Chief Cushman said, thanks for coming. We appreciate the opportunity to uh, give this demonstration. We'll see if my mic comes back. We uh, lost speaker. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, there we go. All right. Uh, basically, we're wanting to highlight two things today. We're wanting to highlight how fast fires move in a in a residential setting, and we're also wanting to display the effectiveness of home fire sprinklers. Uh, each year, we have over 3,000 fatalities in fires, and over 80 percent of those are in homes. Uh, we don't lose people on the street in car fires and whatever in businesses. Uh, we lose them at home and that's where we are most of the time. So uh, what you see here on the left is a what we call a concealed sprinkler. So if you looked in it before, there's no sprinkler head visible. There's a little cap that will drop at 140 degrees. The sprinkler head will drop down and activate at 160 degrees and, uh, and help to put the fire out and, uh, and let you escape your house. So uh, also along this, we can't underestimate or the uh, importance of smoke alarms and exit drills in the home. I know uh, we do them at work, we do them at school, but ha how many of you guys actually do exit drills at home? Yeah, we all, uh, we, we kind of forget about that, but that's where we are most of our life. We're at home, we're sleeping, and it's very important that, uh, that we test our smoke alarms and that we uh, do our fire drills in, at home. Okay, we're gonna get ready to light it off here, and as we are burning it, we do have a clock over here. Uh, we were trying to get it where the crowd could see it. Unfortunately, with the sun, uh, we had to kind of put it behind some shade here so that we could read it, but we'll kind of talk through it as we're burning. You guys ready? 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 Light first. Okay, the fire's lit, and like Chief Kushner said, this is just newspaper and a trash can is all we're using. Okay, the smoke alarm is detecting, smoke detector is going off in about 10 seconds. You can see the fire going up the wall. Now, what are you doing at this time? Yeah, you're getting out of your house. It takes about 30 to 45 seconds on average to get out of your home after the smoke alarm is going off. What are we going to do when we get outside? We're going to call 911. So we're at about 35 seconds now, 25 seconds since the alarm went off. Uh, so you should be about out of your home at your meeting spot, and you're calling 911. When you call 911, they're going to want to know your address, your name, your phone number. Uh, by the time they get your information, it takes a little while for that to all process and to get us notified. Uh, uh, at four feet right now, it's at 100 degrees already. And at the ceiling, it would be much hotter. Uh, as you can see, the smoke's kind of banking down. That's why we talk about getting low, getting under the smoke. To, it's safer, cooler air, and you can also see better. So you can see the curtains are going up the back wall there. The uh, little ottomans going pretty good. Uh, we're at about a minute 25. So about this time, on an average call, our tones are just now dropping in our station. Uh, what do you guys think our average response time is in Warrensburg? 200 degrees. Five minutes. It's actually, last year was three minutes and 34 seconds. So that puts us at about the five minute mark that we're pulling up to your house. Are we ready to put water on the fire yet? No. No, it's going to take another couple of minutes to deploy our hoses hooked to a hydrant. 350. 
Okay, we're now at about 350 degrees at four feet off the floor. See the thick, heavy black smoke? Five, six, six hundred. So 600 degrees, it's climbing fast. This is at four 900. feet. 900. So we're only at two minutes and 10 seconds. Thousand degrees. We're at a thousand degrees at four feet. If you're in this room still, uh, it's it's not a, a survivable condition. So we're 1600, 1700. We are just now at two and a half minutes. You see the black smoke? Two thousand degrees. Two thousand degrees. Okay, guys. We're just going to have to put it out. We're at two minutes and forty seconds. We were over two thousand degrees. This is why we say get low. This is why we say get out when the smoke alarm goes off. Even if you're having problems, even if, if it's, uh, you're having false alarms or at work or at home, uh, that was two and a half minutes. We're still two and a half minutes from your house, okay? Now, they're going to overhaul this and make sure we get this out real good uh, before we light the other one. After we're done, also, we will pull the caution tape back so you guys can take a little closer look um, to see the amount of damage uh, and compare the two. See the little uh, metal box there? We actually put a webcam in there too to try to get some video footage uh, inside the room as well as the camera here uh, recording the whole thing. Pardon? Yes. Uh, yeah, it did melt. It did melt. Yeah, it's probably the one next door. Oh, we have yeah. to. Okay, you got set. Safety. You hear me? Okay, you ready? At the start of it, was uh, we do want to thank our sponsors. Uh, we actually received a grant from the Home Fire Sprinkler Coalition to build these units. Uh, we also had some local support from Economy Lumber and Hardware. They donated uh, several of the building materials, as well as Campbell Fire Protection out of Harrisonville. They provided uh, all the sprinkler piping and the sprinkler heads and all that. Uh, notice on the, uh, the banners that we got up, uh, once we sure to recognize them. Uh, the grant that the Home Fire Sprinkler Coalition gave out was actually uh, funded by FEMA, so uh, and this is all built here locally. And, uh, yeah, we appreciate the local support from Economy Lumber and Campbell Fire. Okay, just about got the cameras reset up, and uh, we'll get this door. I would encourage you, when we get done, to come up and take a look at it. We'll also open the bay doors back up. We've got all kinds of information. Uh, if you're considering building a home, uh, I would strongly encourage you to uh, look at installing a home fire sprinkler system.
Okay, so the fire's lit. Again, we're just using newspaper, no accelerants, no fuels, just a, a lighter and newspaper. Okay, we're at about 15, 14 seconds. The smoke detector is activating. Now, like I mentioned earlier, the, uh, the sprinkler head's designed, the cap will drop at about 140 degrees, and then the sprinkler head will activate at 160 degrees. Uh, you can kind of like to see how that works. I, I do have a sample inside uh, catch us afterwards. So we're almost 40 seconds, so you should be out of your house. You should be calling 911 at this point. Okay, we're at 52 seconds. Sprinkle heads activated. See, we don't have near the quantity of smoke. Um, we don't have near the heat buildup. The first couple of minutes of the fire, we only got to about a couple hundred degrees. We hit 160 to activate the sprinkler head. So they're going to overhaul that and make sure it's, it's out. Now, these are not necessarily designed to completely extinguish the fire, but they're designed to keep the fire in check so that you can safely exit your home. Uh, you might say, well, what does something like this cost? If, if you're building a new home, it's going to run about a dollar fifty to two dollars a square foot. So let's say you're building a two thousand square foot home, you're going to look at three to four thousand dollars, which sounds like a lot of money. But when you compare it to what is it going to cost to put kitchen cabinets in your house, probably more than that. Uh, and this is going to protect your family. Uh, you also do see some savings benefits uh, through your insurance company. Uh, most insurance companies. It's about a 7 to 12 percent discount, so over the long term you'll, you'll see some of that money back. Uh, another big concern is water damage. They're worried about uh, pipes breaking, sprinkler heads activating. Well, how many of you have running water in your house? Yeah, pretty much all of us. And this is just plumbing. Uh, the sprinkler heads, especially with the concealed heads, are protected so you can't knock them off. Um, the, the chance of a leak with the, the plumbing involved with the sprinkler system is much like the, the plumbing that's already in your home. So uh, I'm not going to say it's impossible, but it's it's not real likely to have to have a problem with that. Uh, one thing, if you would, we do have a survey over on this red table. If you would take just a couple of minutes, it's five quick questions. We would appreciate feedback from you guys, uh, how we can improve this, other information you might need to know, uh, if you learned anything. And uh, appreciate everybody coming out. Again, as soon as they get this cleaned up, we'll uh, pull the fire line back in so you guys can take a little closer.